What's up guys, Emmer is back in the game, so welcome to a new episode of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. So I already went back to Kew Gardens just to not have the loading time and the loading screen in my video. And now we will keep uh, looking around. Colonial Collection. Colonial Collection. Okay, this Nursery. is seed. A map of everything. Dry water lily. Cologne. Palm house. You are here. Director's office, cloakroom, and laboratory. Okay. Wait, we're not done yet. Ah. A map of Kew Gardens. Great. But now that should be it. What? What did I... Ah, reserve. reserve. Cool. Ah, now it's done. Okay. Oh, object of interest. Cool. Emptied colonial room. Mr. Hamish... Can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure, then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. As Deputy Director, how was your relationship with Montague Dunn? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, a great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed, uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. You tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Okay, let's have a look at him. Myop myopic, inexpensive glasses? Okay. Dirty collar. What is this? Why is this so in such a bad quality? So not the clothes, but the... <laughs> the picture. Unmarried. Those are... Single frames, uh, not frames, those are single pixels, I can see. Gardener's hands. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Yes. We will. We will. We will, we will, we will. Um, locked. It's locked. Why is it locked? Locked. I hate this shit. Okay, let's have a look around. I have no idea what I'm about, what I should do right now. Oh, find the plant that was used to kill. Find the stone plant, inspect Q garden stuff, buildings and gather information. Find out who killed... Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That's the nursery. Nursery. Locked. Locked. Okay, let's go to the... What? Oh, Watson got out of my way. 
Okay, let's see where the stuff buildings are. We have a nice map. Um, so you are here. What's this? Wasn't able, oh, I'm still not able to read it really. Office house. That was the nursery. Okay, let's just run around because I have no freaking idea <laughs> how to read this. Okay, fucking map. To finish my sentence. That one's open. At least. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, you can. But first, let me look around here. Okay, nothing. There's nothing interesting here. Okay, let's talk to Albert. Miss White. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. For I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah. Oh. At the moment, I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes. I cannot say that he was a kind man, for he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens. And I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the deputy director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the deputy director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed. Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honor of being the garden's longest-serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Okay, to be fair here, he was selfish and he took all the credit for himself. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Of course, but first let's let have a let's have a look at you. Red eyes wept recently, consumed by grief. No wonder his father died recently. Shaving cut? I don't know how, how this is possible to cut yourself while shaving. I never made this, actually. <laughs> Clean hands. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. Thank you, young man. Meet Miss White. Oh. Where am I now? That's interesting. 
That is really, really interesting. This is cool, I want this in my garden as well. Well, I don't have a garden because I don't own a house, but... If I ever own a house, I want something like this because this is freaking cool. According to this... Yep. They have a moisture control. Which is great. According to this... What a little greenhouse. That's where she is today, isn't it? Oh no, now I know where I am. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, okay. Dry tropics. The dry tropics. What's this? According to this. Okay. I mean, this is really cool, all the stuff, but this doesn't help me actually. These flower pots are beautiful. They are intended to be used for exhibition purposes. I think so. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. Okay, why not? Why is it not from Kew Gardens? I would like to know that now. Right fucking now. There is a smell of burning. What is this? Why are they burning stuff? There has to be something interesting here. Oh, fireplace. Broken pot. Let's check it out. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. A broom handle was half burned. Why are they burning this stuff? Ah. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. Yep, this is the one that has been changed, I think. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. A gas mask? A really? protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. Well, of course not. The remains of a picture frame. Okay, that's rather strange. Um, now, okay. <laughs> Just couldn't leave the grass. Look, Holmes, this charming lady must be Miss White. She's entering the seed house. Okay, then let's go after her. Uh, you are here. Okay. That's good to know. Yay, it's open. A water tank. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Anything else I can do here? Oh, object of interest. I have to remember that. But now let's enter the seed house. Seed house. Yes. Open. What was that? Open. Open up immediately. Ah, let, let's let a little fresh air in. Okay, it closed itself. Why did it close itself? Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. It seems like it since it says Albert. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. 
This place serves as Albert's office. A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. Okay. Why does he have a book about ships? So let's check this room first completely before talking to her. But it seems like that's all that's to, that I can see here. Yep. Okay. What's up, Miss White? Good day to you, Miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honored to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Indeed. Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss, after the tragedy that took place here. Yes, the director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. Would you happen to know why part of the colonial collection was cleared? No, I have never been there. Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honor. How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh, yes, indeed. He was always so active and so optimistic and very nice to me. Although he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who is naturally shy, suffered because of it. Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. Okay, let's have a look at her as well. Expensive perfume. Um, okay. What? Nothing else interesting here? Okay. Oh. Pink marks, past malnutrition, pelagra, poor family. Her glove looks look kinda expensive. Um Well I overlooked something, obviously. But I don't know what I really don't know. Um. Yeah, I know that already. What? Ah, there it is, unmarried. Uh, thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying. It is obvious. Someone is, is lying and we have to find out who is lying. 
and we will find out who is lying. Ah, okay, now at the other side. Um, okay, so what's next? Inspect you garden stuff buildings. Okay, that's something. I have to get into the stuff buildings. That's the nursery. You are here. Ah, okay, it's open actually. Well, okay, I would say that we will end this episode right here. I really hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button down below, leave me a comment. And then I will see you again in the next episode of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments.